Hi, I'm Marcus and welcome to this Vocaline 6 overview video. Now I'm going to be using Vocaline Pro for the duration of this tutorial, but it's worth mentioning that a lot of what I'm saying will also apply to Vocaline Standard, and I will also be sure to mention if a feature that I'm using is Pro only versus Pro and Standard. But the other thing to mention is there are slight different ways for working with different DAWs, such as Ableton Live, Logic Pro, Cubase. So you're definitely going to want to head over to the YouTube channel and you can find DAW specific videos in terms of how to get audio captured into Vocaline and then also how to render it back into your timeline when you're done. That being said, let's dive in. Okay, so the first premise to talk about with respect to Vocaline is essentially, regardless of whether you're using standard or pro, it is based on a guide track and a dub track. The guide track is the track that we want to align to. It has a master timing reference and potentially even a master tuning reference. And in Vocaline Pro, we can impart the timing and the tuning onto other tracks. So let's start off by loading an instance of Vocaline. I'm gonna just right click and let's choose the option to edit. And now here we can take a look at the GUI. So first of all, let's break down the GUI. Over here at the top, we have a section where we have a guide track. And then directly below that, we have a dub track. And directly below that, we see the output track. This is going to be the same, regardless of whether you're working in Vocaline Standard or Vocaline Pro. On the bottom, we have some different displays. We're gonna revisit these in a moment, as soon as we actually get some audio captured into Vocaline. At the top over here, we have a preset system. If you know the preset that you want to work with, you can actually choose the preset ahead of time, and then when you capture it, it will be instantly applied. Let's temporarily head over to the top right over here, two different areas I want to take a look at. If you have any questions or you need to head over to the Synchro Arts website, just simply click this question mark. It will automatically bring you there. In addition to that, we have a cogwheel that we can choose for different settings. Let's actually have a listen to these two vocal tracks and let's listen to the timing of these. Oh, it hurts to see you hurting. See you crying in the rain. No, it's not a happy ending. But it's gonna be someday. Obvious timing discrepancies here. So once you know the actual track that you want to use as your main reference, you're going to select this clip and we are going to choose the capture option. Once you have everything in Vocaline, for the most part, Vocaline is going to function the same regardless of which DAW that you're working in and which plugin format that you're working in. So let's now capture our dub track. I'm going to select this bottom one over here. If I know the preset that I want to work with ahead of time, that's something that I can choose. So maybe for this, we know that these are unison tracks and we know we want to have the time alignment. So maybe we'll start with that. We can go to vocal and we can say that this is going to be a double. So maybe I will use slightly loose timing and pitch. We'll choose that preset as a starting point and then we can go ahead and capture. So now this will be instantly brought in and it will be instantly processed. Now, if we take a look at the top right over here, we have these panels. This is going to look slightly different if you're working in Vocaline Standard versus Vocaline Pro. So for example, in Vocaline Pro, we have the ability to show match timing, we have the ability to show match pitch, and then we also have the ability to show other. Other is really great for making some creative choices in terms of working with formants, and also the guide and the dub, the actual ranges. This can be tweaked if you're hearing any artifacts and you really wanna to try to optimize Vocaline to do the best job. But for the time being, let's actually disable the match pitch option and let's just take a look at match timing over here. In the main view over here, like I mentioned, this makes the most sense for working when you're in the match timing preference. We have some basic functions in terms of just disabling match timing and enabling it. We can also increase the amount of alignment that's happening. This scroll bar at the bottom, we have drag handles at the left and right. We can use these to just drag across, right like this, for example. And then we can really kind of focus in on a specific area. So if I take this off, notice what's happening with our timing here. If I enable this, and because we're aligning this really, really tight, you can see that this is kind of snapping into place. The outlines that you see over here in the output track, they are actually representing the guide track. And also notice that if you change the vertical scaling, we're actually increasing the vertical height. This isn't changing the level, it's just increasing the vertical height. We can also do the same on the actual output. And then we can also do the same on the actual dub track if we want to decrease that a little bit. In terms of our alignment rules, we have some different flexibility options. So I would say that normal is the best choice to use in general. You can try other different alignment rules if you're not getting the results that you're looking for. 
So that is the basics in terms of how to work with matching timing. Before we go any further, let's actually have a really quick listen to the A and B. I'm going to take the match pitches off. Let's bring the match timing out for a moment. Let's have a quick listen. Oh, it hurts to see you hurting. See you crying in the rain. No, it's not a happy ending. But it's going to be someday. And let's bring it in. Oh, it hurts to see you hurting. See you crying in the rain. No, it's not a happy ending. But it's going to be someday. Now, in addition to that, we can also match the pitch. So if we take a look in Vocaline Pro, we can click this match, show match pitch option. If we toggle over, we have the ability to show the pitch. In this actual pitch trace, we are seeing now the pitch from the lead vocal in terms of the guide, and we're also seeing the pitch of the lead male vocal. Now, because of the target mode that's being used here, nearest octave, which in general is one of the best options to use, we're getting a really, really transparent pitch result and timing result. So for example, if we play from here. See you crying in the rain. No, it's not a happy ending. And let's take both of these off. See you crying in the rain. No, it's not a happy ending. And we'll bring them back. And you can see now that not only is the timing being aligned, if we go over to the main time display over here, but also the pitch is being aligned. This is one of the benefits of using Vocaline Pro is having the match pitch option. Now for the next example, I want to take a look at taking a slightly different approach. We're gonna use these two clips over here, and these two clips are actually harmonies. They are a little bit out of tuning, but they're not too bad. Let's take a listen to these. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain, until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. So they could definitely benefit from being time aligned. And also, they could use a little bit of tuning. So this is one of the things that is really unique to Vocaline 6 Pro, is we have a new smart pitch mode that was added. So I'm going to add an instance of Vocaline. 6 Pro to both of these. We're just going to right click and choose the edit option. Now I have added it to the actual audio clips, but we haven't yet captured it. Now this is something that is brand new to Vocaline 6 Pro. This is not something that's included in Vocaline standard, but we have the ability to create a process group. And what this basically means is that if we go to the dub track section and we have the option to choose the new group for next capture option, this has automatically created a group one for us. Now, if I click the capture, take a look at what happens over here. So now we have now three different tracks which have been loaded into Vocaline as dubs. And one really quick and easy way to be able to see which tracks that you're working with is if you right click in the actual dub track area, we have the option to select audio. Now we can choose the male lead vocal, which is the first one that we aligned, but we can also choose either one of our BVs. So for example, over here, Until it's lighter. so that's a really quick and easy way to be able to change the actual track or the dub track that you're looking with is just right clicking in an area. This one has a very, very specific smart pitch mode, which we can find as long as we are viewing the show match pitch option over here and you're using Vocaline Pro. At the bottom, we have the ability to choose between three different smart pitch modes. Match all to guide is pretty self-explanatory. If you have a guide track, it's going to match the timing and the pitch. This one here will match the unison only, but if you have anything where it's potentially ad libs or a harmony or anything like that, it will leave that alone in terms of its tuning, but the timing will be aligned across the board. This one here is very, very special. This one will actually match the timing regardless of whether it's a unison or a harmony track. And in addition to that, it will actually do a really quick tuning pass. And the last thing that I wanna take a look at is the other tab. Let's close these two over here and let's just take a look at the other. One of the things that can be really, really useful is having the ability to do some creative things. So for example, if we take a listen to this. Until it's lighter. Watch what happens if I enable a form and shift on this and move it down. Until it's now watch what happens if I move it up. Until it's but keep in mind, we're working with group one and group one has two tracks in it. It's got the male and the female background harmony. So if we listen to this, we're going to hear both of them. Until it's and if I move the form and shift down. Until it's 
I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away, lift you up higher. If I could, I would take your place. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away, lift you up higher. If I could, I would take your place. So this is the basics. That is pretty much everything you need to know to get started with working with Vocaline. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.